Hooray. Oh my gosh, there's another Pokemon in the picture. I'll give me an extra 50 of points. Magikarp. Hooray, I got a... Oh, come on, that's close enough for a Magikarp. Oh. The whole plot, if you want to call it that, of this game really doesn't make much sense. You take pictures. Oh, whoops. Accidentally basically did everything. Yeah, there's only one quote unquote unlockable left. Yes. And now let's go catch some legendary birds. So, how do you get the Pikachu on an electrode? It doesn't really matter because I already got the best Pikachu I'm gonna get. And now that I have the turbo engine, I can see this uh, Electabuzz, even though. Ow. Stupid Charizard. So, yep. You can get a pretty good picture of Electabuzz, although I'm still really bad at judging what counts as a good picture or not. I think, like, I got some amazing picture of Kakuna and it didn't get scored well, didn't I? That's, even if I didn't, that's what always happens to me. Yeah. Why are Kakunas in a cave again? To, like, why do cocoons turn into bees? Is that normal? I mean, I guess sometimes it's normal. And then you speed up here and it's annoying because Pikachu faints and nothing works and to get the Pokemon sign you need to do this and this is actually a pretty cool trick. Do, 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 and then the egg explodes and it's a Pikachu, I, I mean a, a thingy, and what does it do? Oh yeah, it powers up the power generator thing and the reference to the power plant of the games, and I probably didn't get a very good picture of it, but it probably has like a billion point bonus for being a Zapdos. So I win. Anyway, now there's actually pictures of like Magnum lights and apples, and actually it's kind of if you're bad at figuring things out, you can... They're sort of like hints on what to do, and I f didn't get Magneton, did I? Anyway, there's a pincer, and I still think that's kind of clever how they did that with all the junk, and I wonder if that's just... I mean, I'm sure it's just projecting a sprite, but I wonder if those things really align to look very much like a pincer. And just like last time I checked, kind of, not really. Anyway, let's get these Magnemites. Alright. More, 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 more. And then it's no longer shy as a magneton, and it's very hard for me to judge what counts as. Uh, okay, magneton, it's kind of hard to spawn you. Can you look over here for a second, please? I don't want to go back to the future. I mean, the lab. Okay, magneton, magneton, magneton. Oh, you look for apples, okay. <sighs> Hopefully I got something decent out of that. I don't really care, I'm just going for all Pokemon, I'm not going for all not terrible pictures. Probably should have tried the apple thing earlier, oh well. Uh, I don't like Electabuzz very much. Um, I always get like pictures that look good on their own, but because I don't have one specifically in the center, it loses. But that's technically in the center, it's not very good size. D okay, that's actually... I would say that's the best, that's the best, um, Zubat in the world, but, hey, I like how you can take pictures of important things like eggs and Pokemon signs before you actually have the Pokemon sign requirement and it says something about it. Oh, what great pictures of Magnemite. That one's a little off-center, and that one's roughly, this, or not off-center, actually, yes it is, And but neither of them were really looking at me, so I'm just gonna say both of those are okay. Okay, much better size, much better pose, much better... I really don't get what the arbitrary... Okay, the size is wrong, you don't get anything else is, because... There's no point score that's, like, good or bad, and I'm confused by that. I, that's what annoyed me. I mean, honestly, I'd say it's a better picture of Kakuna than anything else, because there are three and stuff, but... That one wins, because it wins. Where's the special... Oh, look, it's a Zapdos. You get a Zapdos bonus. How is that? Uh, I don't like Zubat. Okay, yes, that one wins. Eh. 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 I like Magneton too much for that to be the best one of it, but... 
Oh boy, that's... I don't... Games haven't seemed to... I mean, just saying secret course like it's a... You're supposed to be super researching things and just, oh, yeah, if you do that, you get to see... That doesn't seem very serious. I mean, this isn't the world's most serious game, but I don't want it breaking a fourth wall. Okay, there we go. I got a coughing picture. It was a bloody awful coughing picture, but it's a coughing picture, and it doesn't say anything about what flavor it should be. I don't like Bulbex. I wish you could knock them into the lava. Well, I actually like them, but... That's besides the point. I still wish you could knock them into the lava. Anyway, you can get that Magmar and Charizard to fight by putting an apple between them. And it'll, depending on which thing you do, you can have it beat up the Char Charmander if you're a jerk. And then, oh wait, yeah, it evolves into a Charmeleon even if it gets hit by lava. I thought for some reason it could hit the other guy and then that made it evolve. But I'm just misremembering things because I haven't played this in a while. I like the music choices for this too, but anyway, you can get like the parade of Char Charmanders out here, and yeah, that's what happens sometimes to me. The egg accidentally hatches early, and whatever, I don't care. Uh, basically, all I need out of this level is the sign, which I already got, and some arcanines, which are annoying because they spawn, I believe, randomly, and it's kind of hard to judge the depth here. There we go, baby Arcanine. Pretty sure it's just like 50% chance of getting a Growlithe out of it. 50% chance of getting an Arcanine out of it. And today is Growlithe. I don't really know what the Lith comes from. If someone is a Pokemonologist and could tell me, I would be interested in that. Okay, you like apples, right, Charizard? You're not just gonna yell at random things. Oh wait, you will yell at random. Ah, it's a fire balloon. Okay, bye, Charizard. Anyway, we're gonna have to run through that one more time just to get the stupid uh, RK9, but that can wait until I'm going for all Pokemon instead of just the signs, because this is like a super serious game with serious times. And I think the tail is kind of in the center, and that doesn't look. Like, it looks like a weird. I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, that's I got a decent picture of Magmar. I'd say that's a better picture, but Oak doesn't know anything. That's kind of a weird pose that guy's and I don't even I don't even gonna try it. Do I want to go for the closer one or the, the extra Pokemon bonus tends not to be much. I'm just gonna assume I did okay first. Yeah, the cool looking pictures of Charizard aren't there's not enough of it in the picture and Oak yells at you, which is kind of upsetting to me. Yeah, that's not gonna beat it. Uh, okay. Well done. Okay. Well done. Okay. Oops, I didn't know you could skip this. Kind of well ruins the drama a lot, but oh, that's wonderful. besides the point. Apparently, everything is besides the point, but that's besides the point. 